In this one, we're just going to continue to have a look at multi-stage builds because I'm conscious of the fact that we've seen the full build of our Docker file. So we built the whole lot because we targeted app dev in our Docker Compose file here. So what I want to do is actually change this target to app and then you'll see that the rest of the uh, image does not get built from this stage onwards. So first off, let's just go and check what we've got so far. We've targeted the app dev stage, which means that we should have xdebug. So if I go to my index.php and at the top here, I'll just drop in a PHP info. And then if we go back to our browser and refresh, then when I do a search for xdebug, as you can see, we've got 138 instances of the word xdebug, which means really that it is installed. And so if we scroll down, if we keep going down through the instances, I'll find the actual xdebug section, and here it is. So this shows us that xdebug is installed, if you can see this part. Let's now go and uh, run Docker Compose down, and then we'll target a different build. We'll target just the app build, which means that this shouldn't include xdebug. So docker compose hyphen f docker compose dev dot yaml down. One thing one thing I will say here is if you specify the file name when you run it up, then also specify the file name when you run it down. Because if there are differences between your normal Docker Compose and this Docker Compose file, then you might run into errors when you're actually running it down. That's happened to me a couple of times. Docker Compose is down. Now let's change the target for this build. So I'm changing it back to app. I'm gonna run Docker Compose up. We need to run build because we are just wanting to build the app stage. So dash dash build and then dash D. And so if we look carefully at the build happening here, we shouldn't see the xdebug stage. As you can see, it's just gone to stage eight, which is composer dump autoload. Let's go and have a look at our Docker compose file. And that is actually, yes, the last stage of the app build before we went and created this extra stage here. So that's all done. Let's go back to our browser, refresh. And if we search for xdebug, We only have four instances of the word xdebug now. And as you can see, we no longer have that xdebug section, meaning that xdebug isn't actually installed. All you see is just the environment variables and things which we are passing in through our config. Now this docker compose file is okay, but we can actually make it a little bit more flexible by doing what we did here, this kind of thing. Let me show you what I mean. So where we are targeting, we can do this, and then this will default to app, but we can have a build target environment variable. And so that means that each developer could have their own local uh, .env file, and they could all decide um, if they want to have Docker or xdebug enabled or not, because some developers don't use it. So let me show you how we can create a local environment uh, variables file, and then we can use that as part of when we run up Docker Compose. So where we have our .env file, just copy that, and I'm gonna call it local. And then say for example, I actually want to target app dev, then what I'll do is say build target app dev, and then I can override the currently used .env file like this. Let me show you. This is the usual command that we run, docker compose, we specify the docker compose file and then we say up and then pass in the options build and then dash d. So what I'm gonna do before we call the up command is just say which environment variables file to read. And we can do that with dash dash env dash file and then we need the name of the file. So we're saying .env .local. And so this should be good. Let's give this a go. So as you can see, this time it's installing xdebug. Don't know if you noticed all the things there that were involved in order to install xdebug. And so like I say, with the command that we use here with the 
image that we started using in the last one just makes things a lot simpler we don't actually need to remember all those different bits of packages and things in order to install it okay so xdebug it is quite a lengthy install as you saw there and it's quite an intrusive program but we've got there in the end I'm just going to refresh this and as you can see if we run xdebug now we get all those instances of the word back and also further proof that it is installed. So just to recap on what we did there, if we go back to our Docker Compose, we specified this environment variable here, build target, but we set a default value of app. We overrode that by having our own local dot env file which we called dot env local and we were able to specify that file when we ran docker compose up and it's one of the options which you pass before you actually call the up command so hopefully now that i've demonstrated two different stages of a multi-stage build should be all quite clear in your head now